Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. In this video, we are going to be removing and reinstalling a fan shroud in a 2000 Nissan Pathfinder. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. All right, we're going to pop the hood right here. Pull that lever. There's a release right here. If you go to the center and to the right a little bit, right there. I'm going to grab the prop rod and put it right there. All right, we're going to disconnect the negative terminal in the battery. Use a 10 millimeter wrench. Loosen it up. Get a little looser. And we'll pull that up, set that aside. All right, pull these two clips over here. Right here, right here. There's two clips over here. And then this one gets pulled up from down underneath. Pull up. Pull the air filter up. Use a straight blade screwdriver. Pull this hose off. Over here, I'm gonna disconnect the connector right here. There's a button on the back side. Push it down. Pull the connector off. It's a connector for the mass airflow sensor. Disconnect that. Little retainer right here, pull that off. Take this clip off here so we can move the throttle cable out of the way. We'll take this one off too. And that one there. Just push it out of the way. Next we can use a straight blade screwdriver. Loosen up the worm clamp on the throttle body. Loosen this one. Pull that out of the way. I'm gonna pull these hoses off using some channel lock pliers. Just pinch the clamp and then twist it back and forth. And do the same for this one. this box out of the way. So I need to take this lower cover off. Um, I have a 10 millimeter bolt here. There may have been other bolts here. This vehicle is missing some. So I'll take this one off. I'll use a 10 millimeter socket, an extension, and a ratchet. Over here, there's a bolt. There's one right here. There may be one right there, right there, and right here. Pull it down. Ready? Yep. All right, so this lower part of the fan shroud has to come off. I'm gonna take and grab the center right here, pull it past that little nub right there. We should be able to slide this out. Oh, 
up here on the fan shroud. As you can see, there's a little tab right here. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. All right. You're gonna push down on that tab. And then you can pull out. And it's gonna release the lower part of the fan shroud. And we'll do the same for the other side. A little tricky to get your hands up in here. Let's see. And I'll take that piece off. You can rotate it, pull it down, pull it up. These little clips right here, on both sides. There's a little bit of rust on this clamp up here. I'm just gonna spray it with some rust penetrant before I try to take off the, the clamp. I'm gonna get some channel locks to hold it so it doesn't twist while I'm doing this. like this, loosen this bolt up. As I loosen the bolt, it loosens up on the clamp. Clamp aside. All right. Um, I can grab the upper radiator hose, twist it a little bit, peel it off. Next, we're going to take this hose off right here. There's a clamp right here. You just grab it with your fingers, pinch it, and pull that off. Then we'll pull the hose off over here. That goes to the coolant reservoir and we'll just set that aside. Next, I'm gonna take this 10 millimeter bolt out on the fan shroud. The 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. And we'll take this one out as well. should be loose. All right, so I'm just gonna pull this up over here. Once I pull that up, then I'll be able to clear this hose over here. Pull it up over there. And gently pull it out. put our radiator fan shroud on. Just slide this over. It's a little bit tight over here. Just snug it under here. that. There's some pins. It lines up down here. And then same on the other side. Make sure that's in. And then we'll put the two bolts in. Take this bolt right here. And then this one right here. We'll tighten these two up with a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Same with this one. Put this hose on. 
the upper radiator hose. Get this clamp lined up. Use a 10 millimeter ratchet and tighten this down. Make sure that's snug. Pull this um, throttle cable down. Click that in place, and then this goes in over here, like that. Take the air filter, stick the air filter back in. We'll take the air box, it's gonna slide in under here. Yep, there we go, click that in there. Click this in here. Click this right here. And click this one right here. We'll click this hose on here. And there's another coolant hose. This is, goes to your overflow. This gets clicked in over here, here. Pushed on there. And then this is going to go right here. Connect that snorkel to the throttle body and these two little breather holes, breather hoses. Grab my pliers, squeeze this, and I can put that on there. And then this one can go on here. Move this clamp with my channel lock pliers. Oops. Push that on. I'll take this. I'll tighten that up right here. Tighten this up. This warm clamp up with an eight millimeter socket and a ratchet and extension. Make sure it's all the way down. Looks good. Snug that up. This goes underneath this clip. Just like that. Yep. This wire right here goes over to here. This clip wasn't broken, it would secure right there. And then this plugs into the mass airflow sensor, right like that. Right. Now we're gonna put this lower fan shroud on. Get this lined up here. Get the top part lined up. And that'll clip in. This will clip in. And then this one should clip in. There it goes. It's locked in. Make sure that tab's in there. That's good. Put this lower shield back up.
This shield does not have all the bolts, so we may have more than what we have here. We may have bolts there, there, and there. This one does not have those bolts. Good. Now we're going to connect the negative post to the battery, tighten it up with a 10 millimeter wrench. Okay. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.